Hi everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys coming at you today with an unboxing of one of my top five incoming best figures that I've been looking forward to since this year, oh uh, last year, yeah. So this is a Task Force 58 CPO Erica Storm. This is from CBI, also easy and simple. And this is one of the uh, releases that I was super, super excited for, and I'm not disappointed. I've already uh, started customizing a couple of these. So, great figure. This is female, uh, hence the name Erica. You can see her bio on the rear of the box, and we are actually working with them on the comic book on this, and it is a fantastic story. But this is one of the characters in the... Uh, comic book releases. So this is Erica Storm. Let's go ahead and show you what's what. Bam! Plastic. Always good to have plastic on a box. Uh, let's go ahead and pull out the trays real quick. And we've already got her up for loose parts and for mints. So they're going to go pretty quick because the gear on this is so freaking fantastic. So let me do a couple things here. I'm just going to pop this out. This is a stand and we're just going to unwrap this so we can actually put her on it. So nice, comes with an actual platform stand. This is nice because you can get a bunch of these and you can stack them and stagger them around each other, which is really cool. You also get this guy, okay? It's just gonna be a simple throw in like that. Let's go ahead and show you the figure first. Now, this right here is a robotic body. <coughs> and you can actually see underneath here, this is actually a robotic arm. It's not very, I can't actually show it to you like that, but let me just show you like this. So this is a uniform and you can use this as a black uniform. Uh, it is a multi-cut and let me show you what that means. But this right here actually slides off of her robotic arm and super, super cool. Check that out. You have the elbow pad here that does pop off, but you can see that will actually move. There's a little tiny nipple right there that you can move back and forth and it literally just pops on just like that but very cool robotic arm and her chest can't really see under here but her chest is actually robotic as well so we're gonna have to show you some pictures of the uh, the undercut of the body um, in the stock shots but it is all robotic and it does have a clear sleeve just like this don't worry that's not broken you can see a little groove right there. And that should just pop on. There we go. So very cool uniform, very cool for a customizable um, arm sleeve. So you could actually have this look tactical it does have molly on it but it goes just like that and hand pegs just slipping like that really nice gloved hands so these are a copy of the male version just much smaller you do have a black multi-cam trouser which is awesome great belt kit built-in knee pads uh, very good fit for a female so it's hard to find good tactical uniforms for females so this is uh, right up my alley very, very cool. And they have great, obviously, one, one six scale female boots. And these are peg type, um, just like the males, but smaller pegs, but very, very cool. These are just a clone of the male version, just smaller. So always good to find some cool tactical boots. And then you do have, in this guy, this is her hair, okay? And that'll just pop right in the back like that. There you go. But that is straight out of the comic book. Very chiseled face. Looks like, uh, what's her name? Charlize Theron, I want to say. I think she looks like the girl from Liam Neeson's Taken movie. The one who was on Lost. I don't know. I think it looks like Charlize Theron. But it the younger be. version. It yeah. But very, very cool base figure. This would be good just by itself to do a really cool kit bash. Um, let's go ahead and show you the rest of this stuff. This I'm going to save for last because this is my favorite item. So let's go ahead and hide that under the plastic. <laughs> now we do get some... That's it out of there. Let's go through this now. We do get some gators. And these are cool. These are brand new. 
And you could use these on male or female boots, but these will just, literally, these are almost like a plastic pleather and they are hat stitched, so you actually have an actual foot uh, outcrop there. But those will actually slide on like that, and then you just buckle them up. Now one, one is gonna buckle under, just like real gaiters, and then obviously three around the leg. But very, very cool set, very nice way to dress up a pair of boots that you don't like, or use these just because they're cool. This right here is awesome. So super cool, again, multicam black. This is a very nice flat pack. And you can see zippers do work. Zippers are functional. Standard backpack here. And then it comes with this hood. And this would actually, when you put the backpack on, you can put this like that. And it's almost like a, like a sweatshirt hood. So very cool way to dress up your figure. Um, I've never seen that before, so this is a brand new item. But this will also lay flat if you wanted to use this on another figure. And then these buckles, I'm not sure where they go. They actually buckle right into here. Into the, the strap buckles. Just like that. Very, very cool. Very, very thoughtful. I mean, very neat that they did that. So very, very cool pack. Really like that. Now let's get into the other tray. Again, this is a great parts buy. Fantastic figure to buy though. Um, everything on this figure I'm going to use. So very nice micro chest rig, great stitching, functional zippers. Obviously you have room for magazines in here. These are for AR, ugh, AR style mags. And then you do have some pistol magazine pouches on the side there, but very low profile. This is gonna be a great pickup. Very nice chest rig. Um, that is in like an OD green. So very, very cool. Next, we have a really nice knife, and this is a copy of our Zert knife um, from our Sniper release, but it is in black and red. You kind of see a lot of the same color palettes as the, uh, the Zert stuff that we did. Um, very nice pistol holster, and it comes with a belt attachment. And the pistol holster literally would just slide. So you can see this little groove right here. Throw that on the belt and then you just slide that right in. That'll fit really, really nice. So very nice holster, very nice pistol. So if you know what kind of pistol that is, leave that in the comments below. It is two-tone, spring-loaded. You can see the round in there. Really nice rail on the bottom. And then obviously really nice magazine. So very, very cool pistol. Freaking love this thing. Again, everything on here I'm gonna use. So very, very cool. We do have some grenades. And these are from the first CBI release, so nothing new there. And you have some gas grenades, and all in the black and red fashion, black, red, gray. So very, very nice color palette. And then you have, I'm gonna save this for last. Throw that back there. <laughs> Magazines for the AR. You see the red base plate, so very, very cool. Love these magazines. Again, really nice to dress up the figure. You do have a really nice drum mag, and you saw this with our Zert figure, um, our XP-005, I believe, which was our Glenn from The Walking Dead, and very, very nice drum mag. First time for this, this is a really nice new scope. And if you know who makes that in real life, uh, leave that in the comments below. But this is the first time it's been made in one six scale. Really nice blue lens, black lens on the back. You do have a Picatinny rail up top for a little micro red dot. So very, very nice. You do have a really nice front grip. And then we have the rifle. Rifle is super, super, super sexy. So a lot of new mold stuff here. Really nice butt stock. Looks like a B5 system, but it's smaller than the standard one. Um, bolt does move. I did a video on this on Instagram, I believe, uh, where I built the whole thing. Um, really nice rail system. Picatinny rail on top. Really nice front end. So I don't know if that's supposed to be a suppressor, but it looks like it's an integrated suppressor. But very, very cool. Great color and really nice. The whole thing is just super, super sexy. This would be really nice if you uh, did like a 
a black overspray. So n put a piece of camo netter netting over the top of it, like cheesecloth, and then just dust it with black spray paint. And it would look super, super sexy. So I'm gonna actually show it on camera when I do mine. But you can see the uh, rail system, literally, that this stuff just clicks in. And you may need a tiny dab, tiny dab of glue dot to uh, hold, the, hold that in. But very, very nice, nice gun. Then we also have other rails in here, along with some padding. But these are really nice rails. Again, if you wanted to dress up the rifle, you could just simply spray paint this stuff black or green or whatever you wanted to, and then just throw it on here and it'd be a really nice contrast. So this stuff just literally pops on. Very easy to build. So you can see how that pops on right there. And you could actually cut these apart as well if you wanted to and then spread them out. So very, very cool. Great little weapon. You do have some flip up sights, which are really, really nice. Front and rear. And let's get to the uh, my favorite thing ever. The neck toke, I'm just kidding, but this is a neck toke, so this will go over that neck, so you can't see anything. So very, very nice. This is a great pickup as well. But this right here is my favorite item. And this is a really nice skull crusher with built-in rails. And this literally fits on just like a helmet. And this is just sexy. So super, super sexy. Comes with the NBG mount. Very easy to put together. This is all like flex PVC, so it's soft, but really fits on figures nice. You'll want to probably use a smaller head if it's a male figure, uh, one with less hair, but fits perfectly on here and fits good on a couple of action figures that I'm currently doing. And I put them on it, fits on just like a helmet. You could put in a comm system if you wanted to, but super, super, super cool piece of gear. Um, and this will be a very hot seller. People are going to love that for futuristic action figures. So you do get a pair of NVGs, just like the real thing. Green and blue lens. So very, very nice kit. But lots of great parts here. A fantastic figure on its own. I mean, really, really, really does a good job of portraying the character in the comic. And this is a great building base for some custom female stuff. So um, when I do one of mine, I'm going to swap the boots out for something black, but there's a lot of this same gear that I'm gonna use on my version of this. So very, very, very cool figure. Very happy with the release and they did a great, great job. So if you like videos like this and you wanna see more of them and you like unboxings of characters like Erica Storm here, Make sure that you smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified on all of our social media platforms. And check out our Patreon for builds on figures just like this, along with custom builds. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.